Welcome back. In this part, we are going to see the implementation of Firebase Cloud Messaging and receiving notification in your device. So for this, first you have to go pubspec yaml and uh, import this library of Firebase Messaging. I will share a link to this library so you can get the latest version of it. Next, you will have to go to bell.gradle of app level, then at the end, you have to apply the plugin. For now, you don't have to add this line, but later on, when we add the notification in background, we will require this. Also notice that I'm using the SDK version 29. Next, go to build.gradle of project level and add this Google services. Now, going back to main function. First thing first, we have to initialize our Firebase messaging variable. It will import this library automatically so down below in any state of this main function we can do the firebase messaging variable dot configure then inside this configure we have on message on resume and on launch on message is run whenever our app is in foreground on launch whenever our app is in background and on resume whenever our app is quiet so for now in this part we are going to see the implementation for on message only and in it, in the next part we are going to implement the background notification so here this on message receives a message which is type of map. This message is going to return you the notification which is sent from Firebase. You can use it in anything that you want. But for this tutorial I'm showing in the alert dialog. As you can see this is a simple alert dialog having the title of message of type notification since we will later on see that Firebase sending the map like this notification title notification body we are implementing that in the alert dialog and that's it so let me turn on the recording in the device Okay, app is running in the device now. This is a simple app doing nothing, but the purpose is just showing notification example. One more thing for getting the notification, the device token, you have to use this Firebase messaging variable dot get token in an async function. That's why I use here, await. So I got the token and print it here and called in init state so down here we have the device token we can copy it from here and go to the firebase now we can send notification to our device cloud messaging send your first message here the title title is here 
this is body of notif so send test message add the device token here and test it as you can see notification has appeared in the device also you can see that i have printed the on message of message here inside the message we have this map of notification which inside that we have another map of title here is the title and body here is the body so that's it for this part in the next part we will see the implementation of on launch and on resume thank you for watching see you in the next video